Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 28 of Rags to Riches Vampire Edition. And if you are returning, welcome back. And as I always say, we are in the riches part of this challenge. But right now what I'm working on is to get the toddlers, which we have four of now, a little bit trained up and for Bryce and Megan to work on some assets in their personal inventory that they can have when they move out of the house and also we need to wait for Sylvia to age up to a young adult so she will be doing that soon but in the meantime you may have noticed we have another sim in our house Sylvia's boyfriend Andre has moved in and I did that kind of so that he would be around and I could like sort of help get him in a position to age up to young adult himself. So that is why he is here and I see that we have a little little one who is hungry <laughs> who's had his sleep. Now um, I was gonna say it's gonna be kind of quiet because all of them are sleeping and I see one is awake so that is not the case so we're gonna let her grab a serving did also change all of the triplets hairs which you cannot see well not all of them because I left little Ashley I believe it was Ashley because I can't tell because of the PJs uh, with the same hairstyle and I changed Mari and I changed Paisley's um, hairstyles they're still red <laughs> just that I made it so that they looked a little different because I was playing a little bit off camera it's not that much later but it's now Sunday afternoon and I think it was maybe Saturday night at the end of the last part something like that uh, and I was playing a little bit and I just struggled because they looked so much alike even with the different hair colors I just couldn't tell when I was looking around the colors weren't that bright for me to tell which child was which around the house and having three of them it was hard so I decided to take them in to create a sim and change two of their hairs so that is why we now have just little pigtails instead of braids for Mari and little Paisley you'll see what her hair looks like when she gets up and changes into her outfit so is that the only thing she also needs a bath I realize we don't have enough baths we only had one bathtub upstairs so I had to use move objects but I put a bathtub in here so hopefully that will work and I think even though there are two adults and two teens in the house they're all so busy doing things particularly the two teens and particularly Andre because he's got a lot of catching up to do I'm gonna have Bryce hire a nanny to help them wrong area we're gonna go and hire a service so that it'll hopefully help ease the burden of four toddlers because I did put them to sleep because they were up a lot of the night but I thought I would let them sleep a little bit during the day so that maybe they can go to bed this evening and get on to a more like a closer schedule to what the others everyone else oh look how hungry she is she needs to get up too up you get little sweetums and you look like you're gonna need about that you know why she's filthy is because I think she may have used her diaper because I did see a little moodlet of being near a stinky child <laughs> and she is getting pretty hungry herself and uh, but I think she needs to eat first before unfortunately she does anything else and I have Andre working on a school project to try and get him to boost his grades quicker yeah she is just filthy now let's see what do you need to do Bryce you're you kind of need to have a shower yourself before you go to work and then when do you go to work you go to work in three hours so it's probably a good idea to go have your shower and what are you doing oh I, I told her to work out look after the garden the, we don't need to look out after all of it it's just that I find that sometimes if the garden is really big then the um, the gardener won't look after the whole thing because it's too much work because I think they set stay for only a certain amount of time and then they off they go so get into your food that's a little little Ashley has her food and there's little Paisley coming down the road to go get her come down the road come down the hallway to get her food and I ended up moving this little teddy out here just because even though it's not really a teddy it's just a de decor item so I had more room for the toilet the toddler toy toilet because this bathroom is pretty small to be able to have like this all of this in here it wasn't so crowded if it was just a shower but with a tub in there it wasn't so good so that's why I did that so why don't you uh, watch 
channel. I don't really, you can watch the Food Network. And I'm guessing that mood light is from less, one of their stinky diapers, which we will have to wait because they're so hungry they need to eat before we deal with their diaper. Let's hope. Okay, I'm not sure. I don't want to accidentally put that into the dishwasher or the garbage, so I'm going to open up the fridge because I have them all side by side, which is dangerous. There we have some food. And Bryce is all ready for work in terms of he's done wrong, Sim. He is done, so is is uh megan is done for when she goes to work tomorrow so he has uh done his drinks and he's obviously done all the things he needs to do because he's maxed his mixology skill and i had had him working on just to keep an eye on this i don't really know he's got two hours till he goes to work nothing really we could maybe have him go doing some oh she's making some cleaning up some messes well that's helpful very very helpful i do appreciate that very much nanny Oh, there's going to be an excellent plant. I actually have a lot of excellent plants. We need 10. And I, you have to evolve them. So probably what I should be doing is uh, planting some of the great. <laughs> that would be an easy way to do it. Is look in their inventory and see what we have that is just considered a great. Which these dragon fruit are. And then if we plant them, hopefully it'll be okay that they're not. Like they're different, that they're the same type. They're also dragon fruit. I don't know why that. There must be some weird glitchy thing with the. Because uh, I don't know if you noticed the little graphical thing when I pulled that out. It was almost like there was terrain, even though there's not supposed to be terrain. But yeah. Anyways, and that's only good, but we'll evolve it anyways. Because the only way to get up to higher is to evolve, and then he's full, full. We'll see. We'll leave him and check all his needs. To make sure he's going to be A-OK. -okay. He's a little bit hungry and tired. So we're going to have him actually come and do a rallying of the troops before he goes to work. And then I will also have him... I'm not going to have him evolve that. I'm going to have him cloud gaze. And then he'll go to work. So how are you, my dear? You are still tired and you need a bath. And which bathtub is being used? And who's who's in the bath? Our filthy little one, our absolutely filthy one. And which is the most dirty? They're both kind of dirty. So you are, I was going to say you're going to go over, but not so much. So you're getting a bit thirsty. So you did that very good. Because I had, you, had him do that because I thought it might help him get you know his grades up but he's got a lot he has to do and he has a bit of thirst I mean honestly if he doesn't max out it'd just be nice if he like got something like maybe manners or you know something there <laughs> well one way is oh, we already know her so I was gonna say you could do a friendly introduction but since he knows her we can ask her about his her career and we can discuss world peace manners no I they don't sometimes some of these they get um, by having certain traits they can and his emotional control I keep having him write in his journal maybe I keep canceling it maybe that's why it doesn't pan out <laughs> maybe that's what the problem is what are you doing there Sylvia you're practicing programming well you don't really need to do that take a thoughtful shower I have you working on your your writing aspiration is what I have you doing. And you, my dear, probably need... To, I put some fruit in everybody. All the toddlers, inventory, or vegetables. Just so that if... Oh, no, 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 no! Bad little girl. You're not supposed to use your diaper. You're supposed to go potty. You even can go on your own. That's completely ridiculous that you went in your diaper. It's not necessary. <laughs> you're supposed to be potty trained. And be able to go. And you're sleeping. Right. Okay, you're gonna go, you're gonna get a potty help from the nanny. And you're gonna get up. Did the nanny put you to bed? Because I don't remember putting you to bed. I thought I got you up to eat and do your thing. And then you're in bed. So I'm thinking the nanny must have done it. And you have to go potty too. So you can come over here and go potty. Can you... Is it Annie in your way? No, you're not going to bed. Okay, here. Try here. Maybe there's more space. Potty help from the nanny. Go on. 
Okay. And we will share ideas. And we can ask about her career. Heartfelt compliment. That's one that can help with manners. As can friendly introductions. And he never did. No wonder. I don't think he's... I bet you... I don't know why. There's a spot there to write. We're going to clear. 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 And then try and write and see whether... Oh, I didn't realize Andre. I didn't realize I made him creative. <laughs> I didn't remember that at all. He kept wanting to do creative things, and I thought it was just because it was because of the lot trait, and I didn't realize it was also because... Well, there's the hairstyle of little Paisley. I don't know if you see it there. So, she still needs a bath. Why don't you get Mummy to give you a bath? Why don't you get Mummy there, Megan, to give you a bath? And you should stop going, doing that and go to work. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Lots of Zim's always harder to work. It was so much easier when it was just the two of them, but whatever. So, and what is check toddler? You're not checking the toddler. You don't need to check the toddler. Someone else can check him, her. And let's see. She needs to go to the potty. Potty help. Can someone please help her? How about Sylvia? What are you doing? Maybe you can help her. Because the nanny doesn't seem to be helping her. The nanny made some food, but the nanny's not helping. She's doing a little bit of dancing. Ashley is a helpless little toddler. Which one is Ashley? <laughs> the one I deep trying to get to have be potty drained. That's who Ashley is. Maybe it's good for them to just be all sleeping at different times. And why is she angry? Oh, she's tired. Can you, don't, can you get potty trained? See, sometimes they actually are doing what you think they're supposed to be doing. And... It doesn't show up in their queue. So you think they're not doing it, but if you watch, is that going to happen? Are you potty training? Yep. See? Completely disappeared. And yet now it's there. Yay! She's level 2, so she can go to the potty on her own now. So if I catch her going in her diaper, I can stop her and send her on her own. And it looks like she needs a bath and she needs to go to bed. I think going to bed is the priority here. And you, my dear, you're using potty over there. And maybe you could have a story from uh, Mummy. There. Because you need a bit of attention too, so that might help you with your attention. Go potty. Good girl. You're Miss Little Independent. You look filthy. Is that just your outfit? You look filthy. But you're not filthy. I don't think that outfit's supposed to look like that. I'm a bit confused. <laughs> but she was filthy, so maybe it's just a bit of a glitch. Because I think she was the one who woke up absolutely filthy. Did she have a potty accident? Oh, well. <laughs> And she still looks filthy. But her hygiene isn't that bad. Okay, let me see. Are you reading her to sleep? Because, you know, at this point I was trying to look and see whether or not she needed a diaper change. No, give a bath. <sighs> Let's see. Because it's not under parenting. Because the diaper change is just sta standard. And I thought normally diaper change comes up right at the top if they needed their diaper change. So, well... We'll have to give her a bath again tomorrow. Maybe taking her to Crazy. Oh, look at Andre. He's teaching Paisley. Look at that. He's, I mean, I didn't have, obviously, either of them adopt as a caregiver. I mean, I don't know that he's learned. She's learning the right thing because she's all energized and she probably should go do something to work on her movement a little bit. <laughs> Would probably be better. So I'm going to go have her play in the ball pit. Because that's a good thing. Oh, that's broken out there. Oh, well. Oh, and we have an angry... Oh, she's got to go potty and she's hungry. Okay. Go potty. Oh, she was going all on her own. Good girl. <laughs> Unlike your sister who went in her diaper even though she could have gone on the potty by herself. So this little one 
is asking for a bedtime story. I am sure. Don't. No, that's the wrong bed. No, you need to have a bedtime story over here. Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess then she didn't even get a bedtime story. She she just going to bed. That's not what's supposed to happen. Oh, well. Just go to sleep for now. Now, you, my dear, are very hungry. So And there's food. So you can go grab a serving. The nanny made that. It's like, I think, I think the idea of moving out while they're also like low on their skills is just not going to happen. I think I need to get them skilled up a little bit and maybe even have uh, Tabitha at least be a child before we <laughs> think about moving them out of, <laughs> out of this house. So maybe I'll play a little bit off camera to get everybody ready to a position where they can move uh, out. So she has actually, I meant to show you this, she had completed her three bestsellers and she's earned the 25000 in the royalties, so she now has the best-selling author. I kind of thought she already had that, but when I clicked onto it, it ticked it off like she hadn't, so I guess maybe she didn't, but I don't remember. So, you finish your painting, because I want to give that painting. And that was Sylvia made that. It was a masterpiece. We'll put that in her inventory, and that was another one by Sylvia. This is for them, for when they <laughs> they're moving. It's easier when they're pa paused. The trees get in my way. Okay, I'm gonna pause. Oops, because it keeps moving around. And then pausing didn't help, because now all the decorations in my way. Will it help this way? No. Nope. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it into her inventory. That's a guaranteed way of doing it. No worries about all that stuff. So, it's 11.30. Oh, I meant to have him work hard. Oh, we got a level 2 of movement. Yay. And let's look at his work. Oh, he's not going to get a promotion because I forgot to have him work hard. So, she's just going around. All these garbages are all filthy. Why are you leaving, Nanny? We're not done. <laughs> we still have two awake toddlers. Uh, so she is now playful from the ball pit. So it overpowered her splashy, splashy bath, which is kind of unfortunate since the ball pit works on their movement skills. So it would be better if it made them energize. So she wants to go to bed. So I'm going to have her do a story time from her mummy. And Andre, you're a little thirsty. What are you doing? You're browsing the wrap right because I took out the. I'm gonna have you drink, and you're gonna go write in the journal, and you want to find a vampire mentor. Can you? Can we call vampires in the evening? I know at one point they would like go. I'm sleeping, which was a bit silly because you couldn't call them in the daytime because they was daytime, and then you couldn't call them at night because it was nighttime. So that was kind of not a good thing. So. Invite to hang out. I was thinking maybe his brother could come over and maybe he could see if he could be his mentor because he's he wants to find a vampire mentor so I think Caleb is high enough that that would work and we wouldn't want him to become because he is good like his brother oh he's level three well, at least his emotional control is no longer with slight red which it was before okay thank you my dear as soon as your mommy finishes reading to your sister, I'm going to wake you up and have you come over here and go in your own bed and have a story read to you. These toddlers. So many toddlers. But I think we'll wait for Bryce to come home from work. But like I said, I forgot to have him work hard, so I don't think he's going to get his promotion. It would be... I just can't see it happening. And when does he work with his current job? He works again on Monday, so or later on. Oh, and so he got home, and he needs to mix his drinks, and he needs to do all that stuff. So he's not got his promotion. I'm going to just have him work on those things off camera, like I said, and including like the uh, mixing the drinks, but, 
and get him through to the end of his workday and probably possibly come back on Tuesday because I think what we might do in the next part for Master Chef along with him the fact that he needs to get up to level 8 and he's at 6 which hopefully he'll get the promotion tomorrow which would mean by the next part he would have had his promotion um, maybe we will see if I can get those toddlers aged up well enough if we can do this cook 3 gourmet dishes at a single event that's it for this part thanks very much for watching and we will see you next time bye this has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you like the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.